Twin sister is not impressed with her baby brother. I already don't like this because baby crying noise? Baby crying is like one of the worst noises known to man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> this child knows. That child knows at an early age, it is just aware that this is unacceptable behavior. You think you're gonna get a job crying like that? You think you're gonna make some sick stocks? No, you stupid baby. You're not gonna grow up to be like everyone's favorite baby, the boss baby. Put on a suit, stop crying. Become ruthless. Hello everybody and welcome to Calvis. My name is Lumo and today we are looking at r slash you seeing this crap? A subreddit dedicated to, well, you know, people just kind of reacting to horrible situations in a way that just describes sheer bewilderment. Maybe even a little bit of like, really? You know, come on, hmm. So let's just get right into it. Doc is amazed when seeing snow for the first time. When, when things see snow for the first time, it is one of my favorite reactions because they are just bewildered by the cold wetness. <laughs> oh my, look at that pupper. I love, I love, it's broken. The dog is broken. That's just the, like the end point. That dog has seen death and that death, snow. And I agree with that statement. After how much my dad and I got hurt shoveling snow, I agree. The dog's fear, its bewilderment, confusion, maybe even visceral hatred that we just can't see under the guise of sheer bewilderment. I agree with all the emotions. I love this dog. I want to pet him head, tell him he okay. I love, I love dog. Accidentally awesome. All right, doing a pool shot, gonna, sh oh, 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 mm. I think that still technically doesn't count, but we're gonna take it cause it's cool. God, I love that reaction. I love that reaction. Like if, if this dude wasn't recording, would any of us believe that this happened? Would a single one of us believe that this was a real thing? I don't think I would, uh, but that is, that's a very, very valid reaction and I'm such a fan. I, every time I do something cool in a video game, I do this, but since I don't stream anymore, I can only pog in peace. And pogging in peace is not a pog you want to do by yourself. Pictures worth a thousand words! That, mm. Now, first of all, we need to break this down from like top to bottom. First of all, man on horse. That's the obvious focal point. Uh, second was going to have to be Rick Astley on the TV, poorly photoshopped at the incorrect perspective. From there, we have to question, uh, are, those, are, are those McDonald's jeans? Um, are those standard issue? Because you seem to be working at McDonald's and I have to question if McDonald's is providing their employees with jeans with a bedazzled M on the buttocks. Third of all, what? <laughs> what? I, look, if I remember correctly, they're not allowed to serve you at the drive-through unless you are in possession of a car with four wheels or two wheels. I'm pretty sure there has to be wheels because they had to stop the like horde of drunk college kids in refrigerator boxes from walking on up to the McDonald's and being like, can we get one like? And then they're like, this is a McDonald's. And they're like, then Hamburger. And when they get to window, they can't give Hamburger because no car. And I'm sure, you know, not every McDonald's abides by that rule, but still. Interview with corn. We're not even want this a kernel of truth. God, his look of just like sheer, like, are you kidding? You really, you really doing this? I, the, I'm a fan. I am a big fan. That is just, oh, he's so goofy. It's some goofus Rufus stuff. And I'm, again, just a, a massive here for it. Normalize pranks on live TV that are harmless. I don't want like, <laughs> killing my girlfriend with a cinder block prank. Like, I don't want that. I want something that's harmful. Give me more of this. Give, give me, give me more of the corn bandit. That's what I'm after. Persona 6 follows the corn bandits. Dog's reaction to eye contact with deer outside the window. Oh my God, he looks so concerned. <laughs> I, um, I'm convinced that both think, I'm convinced that both of these animals think the other is a predator, like, the dog clearly feels threatened, but that deer is in full fight or flight until the dog stops moving and it just looks at the human like, how you doing? <laughs> and even the dog, God, I love the fact that they both stop to look at the camera like, you seeing this other dude in my house sleeping with my wife? 
And little did they know, they're both married to the same woman. This got weird. This is like some six to one crap. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, in fact, I'm what you might call a fandant. Like I'm not a fan in the slightest. I hate, I hate that I said that. I hate that words come out of my mouth against my will and it paints me in a bad light. This happens repeatedly. If it wasn't for Alex, my career would be over. <laughs> Man next in line to be beaten to death smiles and doesn't give a crap. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. I can't compose myself. I'm just imagining a horde of children descending on this poor mascot performer with bats. Oh god. I feel like that's that that has to be in the opening of some like B-roll 80s zombie movie, right? Like a bunch of party children zombies beating a mascot in with a bat. That has to exist. That has been, that is somewhere in the Hollywood or whatever like B tier Hollywood vault exists. That has to be somewhere. This is definitely not an original idea. I want to see it. Hollywood, I know all of you are watching collectively. Show it to us. Show us the zombie B roll. And that's how I met your mother. Okay. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, just the slow zoom at the end! Just the slow zoom at the end! And she just looks at the camera like, I'm not paying attention. Oh my gosh, she just wanders into frame. She just wanders into frame and gets filmed by like, Sproingus and the Kid filming weird plunger action. Sproingus and the Kid. That sounds like a terrible band. <laughs> but also, I really want the context behind like, what are you doing with that plunger? Weird, young, like, Michael from Rooster Teeth. What are you doing with that? God, he really does like, from the side look like Michael from Rooster Teeth. That's that's kind of messing me up. We're moving on. Okay, horse is trying to eat hoodie. No, no horse. This isn't berserk. You stop that. You stop that horse. Uh, I do love that. The, it, it's just amused by the zipper and I kind of love that. Animals getting simple joy out of our like mundane things really just puts a smile on my face because it's not like anything bad, but when like, I don't know, like a cat discovers Simon Says and just starts playing with the buttons because they boop. I love that. I'm a fan of that because it's just cute. It's just pure. And while I did invoke the name of the Berserk Horse, this is very pure. It's very cute. Man enjoys blowing himself. Relatable content. Oh my God. This is the content that I was expecting. I love how his wife is seeing the consequence of 40 plus years of marriage live on, 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 on James. What kind of show is James? Well, it's this kind of show. <laughs> Tune into James weeknights on MSNBC. <laughs> This is gonna be me in my retirement years. Like, this is just amazing. It's so good. It is so just stupid. I'm here for it. Just a casual flip. Okay, does the flip. He's slow mowing, slow mowing, and he lands. Uh, that man looks like he just saw the face of God because I just realized he sat on the water bottle. I, at first, I saw this and my mind was like, ah, yes, that's a very good flip. You're a flippant man. I respect you. But that. That bottle, either his butt's destroyed or that bottle is, but that's a fight that only one survives. Oh, I understand that look of like excited pain. I really do, my dude. And that's all the time we have here today on Calbis. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe, maybe share this with a friend so you can confirm if you did in fact see that crap. If you do want more r slash you see in this crap, there'll be another one popping up. Oh wait, no, there won't. I'm lying to you because I'm a stinky liar. This is the first time we've done this subreddit, so if you liked it, let us know in the comments. And if you want more, wait, we'll probably do more. But there's a random video popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Galbus video. Have a great rest of your day.